Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today, are you ready for Doki Doki Literature Kingdom? I hope you are. It's time for the Romance Kingdom. It's the new April Fool's Day event. Last year we had the Shroomies, and now we have this. It looks like it turned the kingdom into a dating sim. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this. It's Strawberry Cookie. <laughs> Hello everyone, take a look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a, it's a dating sim. <laughs> I got a new game. <laughs> she would, she would have this. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. Romance Kingdom, Sugar Sweet Destiny. Huh, looks interesting. <laughs> it's the exact opposite of what I'd say. Something's fishy about that game. <laughs> I just love that some some cookie took the time to draw and develop this. That's amazing. <laughs> Where do you find this game, Strawberry Cookie? In the trash. <laughs> Maybe they developed it. Maybe they didn't. Who knows? <laughs> oh, then again, you know, if you found a game in the trash... Would you? Would you, though? Because uh, I, I feel like, depending on the game, I would. I'd be like, this is a game. This this is just a... a, a as long as it's not covered in, like, gunk and, and gross, and it's just, like, gently placed in a trash, in, like, a, a waste bin, then I, I would I would totally take it. I'm, I'm like, I don't care if this is bad. I'm, it's free game. <laughs> Strawberry cookie. There's probably a reason why it was in the trash. Let's load it up. It'll be fun. I promise. There's no stopping her now. I guess we should give it a try. Oh, oh my gosh! It's the old Windows Explorer! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's a little gnome on the bottom left! There's a little... Oh, it's a ginger brave at the top! It's a little logo for the, the, the icon! Oh my gosh! It uses the little squiggles! Oh my gosh! There's little cherry blossoms, and the cherry blossoms are only inside the window! Oh my gosh, and you can see the little desktop, it's the little windows, like magic, uh, like, not, not magic, but the little, little scape where it's just the hill. And then there's the little, there's the little icon for the app, Romance Kingdom! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, and the, yeah, the little gnome is the start menu. I want this as, a, as my, as my background. Oh my gosh, and there's a little curly cue as the date. This is amazing. This is amazing, and I love this so much. And this is actually the, the the title screen. Gifts album start is fifteen. Do we get to do different routes? Oh my gosh! We can add blossoming hearts. Okay, I'll probably watch ads to refill those uh, in the meantime. Later, we're doing this. Oh my gosh! Start. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's autoplay. There's log. There's skip. Oh my gosh, it's the cherry blossoms at the school. <laughs> this is amazing. They made an entire visual novel. They actually made an entire virtual visual novel. And they're doing the Doki Doki thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The only thing more amazing is if the little buttons on the top left work to minimize. I must check. <gasps> oh... Well, that is becoming a background. Oh my gosh, I can minimize the game. Oh my gosh, it it's doing the Doki Doki Literature Club Plus thing. Oh my gosh, I can click on A. That was that was hidden before. What does A do? What does the question mark box do? Can I click on the gnome? No, I can't. Oh, but clicking on Romance Kingdom pulls the game back up again. Oh my gosh, I imagine hitting X probably gets me out of this. Oh my gosh, log. This is the log. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I I love this. H how are they just so amazing all the time with everything? All right, Marcus Madeline. That's his, that's his human version. It's Madeline Cookie named Marcus. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name's Marcus Plyer. <laughs> oh my god, they, they're calling him Marcus. He's Mark. He is Mark! He's actually a Mark. He's not M-A-R-K, but he, he's a Mark. He's a Mark. He's Mark Plyer. 
Why? why? First off, they add elements to the game, which I've been hoping for in ages. Now they're making him Marcus, like Markiplier, with the Markiplier voice. This is just, how, how does it keep getting better? Oh my gosh. Are you there? <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, I'm Marcus Madeline. I welcome you. This is Kingdom High School, a place of sweet romance. And with the cherry blossoms blooming, the student body has grown quite re reckless. A look at this student body. <laughs> Why might that be, you ask? Well, it's said that those who walk the school grounds together on the day the cherry blossoms bloom. Oh my gosh, Rachel Strawberry, she's so cute. <laughs> She looks so cute. And they have her eye go over her hair as per tradition. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. That's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, what should we say to you for her? Ah, President Madeline, wait, say no more. Please respect the pride of the kingdom students. You can't just give away our secrets like that. She's southern until I forget. You there. If you want something, you have to earn it. Oh my gosh. Herb Herbert Who? It's Herbert Hoover. As Herb. He's Herbert Who? He's Herbert Who? I love this. How, how, how many of you are going wild at, at, at Soft Boy? Spelled B O I. Ah, uh, Rachel can be harsh sometimes. You must. Must be because she believes in you, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I know. You're the most genuine and sweetest person ever. I hope that all of your wishes come true here. Oh my gosh. He has Sayori face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Serena Fairy. Because she's Sea Fairy. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's Serena Fairy! <laughs> the hopes and wishes of a close friend are truly precious. Something irreplaceable. Oh my gosh, Derek DeChaco. <laughs> it's Derek DeChaco. I love, I love this. I, I just, I can't. I can't express just how much I love this. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's Dark Chaco is Derek to Chaco. Oh my gosh. The hopes and wishes, they mean nothing to me. I've lived without such foolish things for as long as I can remember. He's the Sundere of the group. Wait around for something like that, and you're sure to be disappointed. Is that how you feel? You don't think they will come true? <laughs> anyway, lots of things are happening in this beautiful season. Let's see whether this spring will be as sweet as you hoped. With that, I wish you a wonderful time in Kingdom High. May the light be with you. He still keeps his catchphrase. Oh my gosh, day one. It's day one. Look at the little sky. This is the best thing. Oh, our name must... Oh my gosh, we get to enter in our name. All right, Sweetland is the name of the town because I named that with my actual real-life GF. Uh, I Let's see. Do, do we play as Holly Day? I am playing a game in the game. Hannington, does Hannington fit? It works. Oh my gosh, do we? No, 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 no! I, I can't play as myself. We have to. This is the. This is my chance to put Holly Day into Cookie Run Kingdom. How can I not? How can I not put put you in there, my friend, my channel mascot? Oh my gosh! Well, besides the other channel, well, one of my channel mascots, because you know Hannington as well. But you know, it's Holly. We we have to do Holly Day because if I get to voice her, I want to do the Holly Day voice. All right, we have to do this. Holly Day has to has to go on dates. Yes, we have to do this. Oh my gosh, unallowed character. No. Uh, all right, hold on. No, no. All right, no. I have to do this. 
It has to be me. I have to enter the game. I, I must become Aaron Hansen as the video game boy. And it jump into the game. It's, this is my destiny. Oh my gosh, it's, 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 <laughs> enter the name, handing to, there we go. <laughs> I could have done Holly, I could have done Holly as the thing, maybe, maybe if I do the route again, I can change the name or something, but this time, this time it will be Handington. Uh, oh my gosh. All right. No, I, ha I have to do this. It has to be me this time. <laughs> my name is Handington. I'm a student at Kingdom High School, room 1-C. Over there is my classroom. Why is the atmosphere so chaotic, you might ask? Spring at Kingdom High School is usually like that. The garden lined with a hundred-year-old cherry blossom trees is a famous flower-viewing spot. It's said that a walk around the schoolyard under the falling flower petals will turn even enemies into lovers. Essentially, it's the, re it's the season of love. It's the reason for the season. Naturally, I'm one of the popular students. Oh my gosh, I should have made this holly. So I'm quite excited for this time of the year. The weather today is great as well, so it just feels like something romantic is about to happen. Oh, I'm going to regret making it myself. This is perfect. Uh, sigh. If only. I pretend like I don't care, but lately, even I find my heart beating a bit faster as I wait for something romantic to happen. Oh my gosh! No, this is this is so cringy. I love this. I I have to I have to play along with the with the kingdom. It has to it has to be painful and it has to be me. I wonder if there. Hold on. Sorry, I'm back. I wonder could there be anyone who has such feelings for me? As soon as I had that thought, I hear my name from the other end of the hallway. It's Monica. Oh my gosh, classmate one, it's not specified. It is Monica. It's Monica in cookie form. Everyone draw Monica in cookie form. <laughs> hey, Hannington. Is, oh, hey, isn't this Hannington's locker? <laughs> I thought they'd say gosh. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Hannington, look, this looks like someone confessed to you. It's classmates one to three. I'm just going to imagine they actually are the Doki Doki Literature Club classmates. No way. As I approach my locker with my classmates surrounding me, I saw a heart-shaped box of chocolates and a small letter inside. I carefully opened the envelope and read the neatly written letter inside. It said, I would take a walk with you on the lake one day. Oh, I would like to take a walk with you by the lake by the lake one day. Unfortunately, Hannington was dyslexic. Uh, Sayori. Wow, they said that you want to go on a walk with you. That's so romantic. It is... Oh. Uh, what's the Yuri voice? <laughs> it is spring after all. Hannington's about to enter the season of love. Congrats. Wait a minute. Doesn't this say who it's... Oh, this doesn't say who it's from, though. Don't tell me. Are you playing a prank or on me? No, wait, classmate one, classmate one is Monica. No way. Why would we do something like that? Are you sure? You are the girls from Doki Doki Literature Club, after all. Could it be that someone romantic is about... Something romantic is about to happen to me? What can I do about it? Well, I have no idea who the sender is. I left my teasing friends in the hall and entered the classroom to sit down. My heart was pounding, and I almost felt dizzy from the excitement. This day was going to be special. I could feel it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Classmates. Oi, Andington. I heard you got a box of chocolates. Show us. Come on. How annoying. I managed to escape from my teasing classmates and sat down in my seat. Oh, my gosh. It's Herbert Hoover. Andington. Oh, no, wait, what voice was I doing for him? Oh, uh, he, he needs to have Bakora's voice. Oh, my gosh, uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! Bridge. Keep a step off a lift, Joey. Handington, are you all right? You seem tired. That's Herbert Hoover, my childhood friend. Oh, no, he is the Sayori. <laughs> oh, no, Herbert, get out of here. He has a passion for plants, and they weirdly seem to like him as well, so the gardening club already has their eyes on him as a potential member before he even started school here. On his first day, the entire gardening club ran out to welcome him. 
That's sweet. Outside of his passion for plants, he's a kind and gentle friend who has followed me around since I was young because of his shy nature. I guess he doesn't know about the whole secret admirer thing yet. Unless. So, uh, someone left this box of chocolate in my locker. Weird, uh, right? I took one of the heart-shaped chocolates and ate it. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> wow, you received a box of chocolates? That's so nice. Yeah, I received a letter as well. <laughs> I, I know I'm giving myself the friend Aaron voice, but I just, I just, I've been working on uh, editing sprites um, and and stuff, so I've been re-listening to the Doki Doki Literature Club from uh, Game Grumps recently. It is in my head, and it's the, like their voices just have become my headcanon voices for the characters. I just, I love this so much. Oh my gosh. I would like to take a walk with you by the lake one day. Is what it said. I totally didn't say that. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, I get to choose. Yes! I get to choose the things. I also, I, I especially love how the graphics are especially reminiscent, not just of any dating sim, but especially Doki Doki Literature Club, especially with the polka dots. I just, I love this especially. This is wonderful. Uh, it must be a prank. I wonder who gave me this. We must have alternating branches. Oh my gosh. All right. L l we'll do. We'll do. I wonder who gave me this. I wonder who gave me this. Well, it seems like the sender wanted to hide their identity. Look at the different faces. Look at the face change in the plant wilts. And now the, the plant goes back. Oh my gosh. So perhaps it's better to leave it unknown. Uh, you're not saying who did it. Herbert Hoover. I don't, you're keeping it vague. And I love how the clock doesn't have any, there's no, there's no hands on the clock. It's just an empty clock that's perfect. Oh, I love this so much. It still bothers me, though. The chocolate is tasty and the letter is written so neatly. It seems like they, they really made an effort. So I'm curious who it is. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. I'm back. I am not doing this around people. So the, uh, the the background music, I don't know if that picked up or not. It's going to have to pause for now. Oh my gosh. Okay, and we resume. Well, how about looking for them discreetly? Discreetly? Yes. <clears throat> yes, there must be a reason why the sender decided to keep it a secret, right? That's true. The school is full of students who gossip, so things could get messy quickly. Thank you, Herbert Hoover. I'll take your advice and be careful in my search. Hey, you must be excited. Good luck, Huntington. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Is Rachel Raspberry? <laughs> oh, what's all this commotion? My, my, my. Did our dear Huntington receive chocolates in a letter? I'm impressed. Let's see that. Nuh uh, nope. Huh? Wait, Rachel, give it back. Dang it, she's totally gonna make a scene. I tried to hide the box of chocolates in the letter, but Rachel was faster. Seriously? I love the cheesy dialogue. Sigh. This quick pink haired student in the cl is the class rep and star of our school's fencing club, Rachel Raspberry. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. She's quick. <laughs> she's part of the fencing club. That's great. She's a child prodigy when it comes to swordsmanship. I heard that she's easily defeated a high school high schooler champion when she was just in middle school. I also heard that bullies from a neighboring high school dared to get in a fight with her, not knowing who she was. But she single-handedly took care of everyone with just a stick. A stick! <laughs> I don't know much about if that's true, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, knowing Rachel. Good grades, amazing swordsmanship, looks like an angel. <laughs> But still down to earth, by being brutally honest, everyone wants to be her friend, and I'm pretty sure she has her own fan club. She probably received the most chocolates and confessions in our class. So why is someone like her showing interest in my letter? Huh. Take a walk with you by the lake one day? That's it? And you don't know who it's from? Boring. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Oh, sorry. It's just a matter of personal preference, I guess. These mis mystery confessions are so dull and old-fashioned. I mean, if you want to express your feelings, why all the secrecy? Be confident. Just say it. I like you. I can make you happy. <laughs> if you don't have the guts to say it out loud, then why bother? What do you think, Hannington? You can't possibly like a creeper who lurks in the shadows and has to secretly confess their feelings. <laughs> You're right, that's pretty creepy. You have no right to judge their feelings. <laughs> don't be so mean. You don't know what this person is going through. They might be a complicated there might be a complicated situation or something. Whatever the case, I don't want to make fun of someone's feelings, especially if they're for me. Hmm, perhaps you are right. I was nervous that I would be upsetting Rachel, but her reply sounded almost sweet. Wait, was that a smile? But why? <laughs> if only the person who wrote this could hear you now. They might even be thinking, I knew I made the right choice. <laughs> Suspicious. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Who knows? <laughs> So I could either be oblivious or say thanks. We're gonna go. We're gonna do the 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 basic sweet route this time. Thanks. I I hope so. I'm actually quite nervous. You might be used to all this, but this is my first time. I ended up telling Rachel the truth. I mean, she was acting too nice. Obviously, I regretted it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? What are you, five? Your first box of chocolates? <laughs> so, stop that. There's always a first for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy those fuzzy feelings while you can. Because who knows, it might be your last. <laughs> All right, I have fancy club. And see ya. <laughs> Might be the last time we <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> really reassuring. <laughs> what do you mean, my last chance? I was about to retort, but Rachel already disappeared into the crowd. Oh my gosh, we're meeting all the students. As Rachel got up and left, the other students who surrounded my seat also dispersed and went to their seats. It was then that a timid student approached me. Lovesick classmate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who haven't I done, Natsuki? <laughs> no, no, it, need, it needs to be Monica. <laughs> Hendington, do you have a moment? Uh, for what? Laura. <laughs> I'm full of the Game Grumps references today. Wait, the letter you're holding. You, put that back. I'm not going with you. Wh what? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Love's a classmate. Oh no. Oh no, this is Doki Doki Literature Club. What are you doing, MC? <laughs> I, actually, I, I I go by MC Charlie as well because those are my initials, completely un unrelated to MC being main character in, in most of the games. Whoops. <laughs> Um, anyway, oh no, what are you doing, idiot version of Handington? <laughs> Which is also still me. What are you doing to the lovesick classmate? What are you doing to Monica? I'm very glad that I made this Monica. Come on, please, I can't go on my own. Please come with me. My lovesick friend grabbed me and dragged me to class 3S. Oh my gosh, oh my god, you're confessing to her. Oh, it's a, the classmate is lovesick for someone else? Okay. Lovesick classmate. I'm just leaving this letter and a gift in her locker. Just keep watching, make sure she doesn't come out and see us, please. Oh, okay, so concurrently, Doki Doki Literature Club is happening while this is happening. It's the same school. Did you know that? Did you know that the, the Literature Club is also one of the classes in the Cookie Run High? Uh, but that's... You don't, you don't know where it takes place, to be honest, and... No, you actually do meet other students in the, the, the side stories of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. They're, they're, they're shaded out, but still, um, they're, they're, they're the humans. You know what? No, 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 no. These are human, oops, these are human forms too. 
it's the same it's the same school it's it's the same universe that is my head canon this is real now <laughs> uh just make sure she doesn't see us please no 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 this is a terrible idea you think she'll actually read it you'll be lucky if she doesn't use it as kindling for bonfire during one of her moon watching sessions <gasps> oh my gosh moon watching sessions <gasps> is that moonlight of course you'd go for serena oh no no wait what am I? Of course, it's she watches the moon. And moonlight is the moon, right? Okay. Oh, I wonder if the lovesick classmate is moonlight then. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> of course, you'd go for Serena Fairy, the girl who only has eyes for the moon. <laughs> Serena was a senior, and she was famous for her quiet nature and otherworldly beauty. So many students admired her. But no one who confessed her ever had any luck winning her affection. My friend would be no different. Serena never took her eyes off the sky and had no actual interest in real people. Many students had tried their luck with Serena by suggesting to go moon-watching with her, which was simply an attempt to get a date. Of course, this never worked on someone like Serena, who was so sincere about her love for the moon. When it turned chilly and her date off and the and her date offered her her jacket, she wouldn't even spare them a glance, but continued to cite romantic sonics sonnets to the moon. <laughs> I'm Luna. I'm the moon. There used to be an old ad on these VHS tapes that I would watch when I was little. I think they were Bob the Builder tapes, and it was this ad for Bear in the Big Blue House. And it was like, join Ojo, Tutter, Bear, and Luna. I'm the moon. <laughs> I'm Luna. I am the moon. I just, I, it was just, that's always the thing that's in my mind for forever whenever I, when I ever I see stuff like that. I love it. <laughs> no one dared ask her out on a date ever since a student who excitedly went on an overnight date with her during winter came back with frostbite. Even so, students continued to fall for Serena, and every now and again, someone would have the courage to at least leave secret gifts in her locker. But back to my classmate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's working even better now that I made her Monica. <laughs> I had to go through at least 20 poems just to write this letter. Can you read it through for me and see if it's okay? Oh my gosh, Monica's asking us to read a poem. <laughs> Serena likes poems, after all. She should like this letter, right? She might like the letter, but that doesn't mean she'll like you. As I took the letter to read it, my classmate rushed off to the bathroom with a nervous expression. It was right then that I felt a mysterious presence behind me and turned around. Ah, Serena Fairy! Oh no, wrong place at the wrong time. Why did you have to go to the bathroom? You lost your potential chance at romance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I only have a limited repertoire of voices, so... That letter... Were you going to leave it for me? <laughs> uh, no, it was someone else. <laughs> yes, it's for you here. Uh, about the letter. Now, I have to be on. I have to be honest. This is bad. This won't turn well, whether she receives the letter or not. Not knowing what to do, I simply babble on and attempt to distract Serena. Admiring and endlessly longing for someone is a very beautiful thing, but... Have you ever heard... Have you ever considered what happens to our hearts when that longing collides with reality? Oh my gosh, why aren't you just saying, no, this is someone else's letter? It might look pathetic, but still. <laughs> when longing and reality collide, like the moon crashing down in Majora's mask? <laughs> Serena, who had seemed a bit confused at first, soon fell into her own world with a faraway look in her eyes. As she stared, mumbling to herself unintelligibly, I swiftly snuck back into the classroom. Poor friend, I'm sorry. Why? Why? I'm sorry. That was the, that was the thing to do though, because it wasn't your, your. You shouldn't claim that the letter is your own. You should. You should put down the letter because it's someone else's letter. So. You know. <laughs> 
I guess that was the bad choice because you're supposed to, the good choice is going for each of the students, I guess. Um, all right, maybe I'll do that the next time. I just, I thought that like I'd leave the letter and then that would leave the letter for someone else. Um, you know, give, give that other person a shot. But then again, yeah, if we give the other person a shot instead of like pursuing Serena, then that means like, oh yeah, well we, we want, we want to be with Serena. So then we would claim the letter, which would be a scummy thing to do, but would probably be the way to do the thing. And anyway, look, uh, and then all of a sudden I heard squeals and cheers coming from the gym. I love how this is setting up all the different potential romance interests. Curious students. Hey, watch with this racket. <laughs> It's a literal racket in the racket. It's the literature club president. He set up an actual chocolate fountain. Oh, no, wait, that was the gossiping student. He set up an actual chocolate fountain. Huh? Wow. I have to see this for myself. Oh, my gosh. Look at the gymnasium. I love this. I love that they drew this and then scaled it down and it's all blurry like an older game. That's so good. Hello, everybody. My name is Marcus Plyer. Come, my friends. Come one, come all, my fellow classmates. That dashing smile, uh, that dashing smiling figure greeted everyone over there as president of the literature club. He's from one of the wealthiest families ever. Nearly half of the school students are members of his official fan club, and I can definitely see why. The fan club is famous for its loyalty and infatuation with him. Rumor has it, anyone bad-mouthing the president ends up with a wedgie while dangling off the roof. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's turning into Yandere Simulator. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love the little, um, the little hearts and stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons in the, uh, in the, in the text boxes, the little icons. It's so good. Look at him, the one-eyed open, the one-eyed closed look. Lovey dovey, sweetie cutie, and dessert day is upon us, my friends. Oh, it's like White Day or something like that, I think. So behold, oh no, wait, Valentine's Day is dessert day. Oh my gosh, that makes that makes so much sense. Yes, yes, I love that. It's not Valentine's. It, it's 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 dessert day. <laughs> So, behold, I've prepared a lovely chocolate fountain out of my own pocket, no less, for all to enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Such presence, such showmanship. I wonder how he pulls it off. <laughs> ah, yes, your Handington, right? Seems you've already received some chocolate. Huh? How did you know my name? Well, what's this? I'm only a student in the school. <laughs> what's this? You've only received one small box of chocolate. Dare, oh dare. Such a shame. It's the thought that counts. Honestly, I don't care. Yeah, thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. You may be the president, all tall and handsome. Long, tall, dark, and handsome. But really, a shame. I didn't even have a chance to stop myself from snapping back at him. Could I already feel the eyes of his fan club boring holes in my very being. Oh, was that the bad choice? Whoops. Huh? Never thought about it that way. Because I've never had to experience such a thing. Huh? He's... he's smiling. Hey, smile. President Mar... President Monica, I didn't get any chocolates. I want to see some chocolates from you. And only you. Uh-huh. Wait. <laughs> like I said, what a presence. Single smile turned that gaggle of fans into a shrieking frenzy. They used gaggle of fans. Oh, oh, my heart. Yes, I call everything a gaggle. <laughs> That's why my guild is a Handington gaggle. Oh, this is the best of things. This is the best of things. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the best. But seriously, what was the reason behind that smile? <laughs> nah, it can't be. <sighs> oh, great. I left my bag in the classroom. I only made it two steps to the door when this week's cleaning monitor barked out my name. Cleaning monitor. Playing hooky again, Harrington. You're in charge of the trash cans this week, I remember. Yeah, I completely forgot. Sorry about that. 
I'll get right to it. These bags need to be taken out. Taking up the trash at night. Right. Yeah, I'll take them with a dumpster behind a building. All right, thanks. I love how the cleaning monitor is just no, no, <laughs> not into all of this. Uh, not into all the romance stuff. Ooh, we'll meet, we meet by the dumpster. The closer I got to the dumpsters, the more I regretted coming alone. Senior class bully one. Ah, got a lot of nerve wandering around here on your own. Dyed hair and all. <laughs> I love that the, the hair being unique colors is all <laughs> they've confirmed that it's their hair. They actually dye their hair. That's great. <laughs> it's not just their natural color. <laughs> not bad to ask upperclassmen. You're just a junior, so act like one. Ah, oh, so we're a junior in the story. Oh, wait, I think I've seen you before. Yeah, I've definitely seen you before. <gasps> Derek DeChaco. I don't want to fight. Oh, oh my gosh, he's standing up, up for us. Hey, dude, it's him. That thuggish super bully wanted to be the son of some shady corporate bigwig. <gasps> That's so perfect. Oh my gosh, it's amazing the way that they wrote their stories into this cookie ring kingdom. You're just full of so much heart and love and life. I love this. This is the best, this is the best game ever made by humanity. Doesn't pick a fight, but when he does, he swings a two-by-four like there's no tomorrow in a raging flurry. Dude's been called the Dark Tornado of Kingdom High. Oh, look at that. He, he kind of has um Purple Yam's move. Your days as blaze are over. Meet your end. It's Derek DeJoku. <laughs> I like to imagine they fly off like Team Rocket. <laughs> Oh, ow, ow, come on, dude, let's just go. Let you go. Please, dude, I mean, sir, I mean, boss, boss man, Derek, dude. Get out of my sight, and this place better be cleaned up by the next time I'm here. Yes, yeah, sir, we'll, we'll be on our way now. So that's Kingdom High's public enemy number one. Rumor has it he's flunked junior year for a full time. <laughs> He's so old by now. He's a grown man in high school. You shouldn't be falling for them. No. <laughs> Even if you're like, let's say, what is uh, junior in high school? Let's say like you're, what is it, 17 or so? That would mean he's 27. <laughs> no. He's older than I am. At this current moment in time. Uh, not, not in the future. Oh no, I didn't future-proof this video. Oh, speaking of at the moment, at that moment, the bullies ran past me as if their lives depended on it. And he saw me, his ice-cold glaze froze me in place. <laughs> hi. Hi, Derek. How old are you exactly? <laughs> do you need to go to the nurse's office? We gotta do the caring result. <laughs> Even though how old are you would be funny. Talk. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? I'm not hurt, but oh, my scar! Oh my gosh, he has a scar. He does have a scar. I didn't notice it under the hair. It's an old scar from a long time ago. Doesn't matter. There's no one in the school that can hurt me. What was that? I thought I saw a shade of sadness sweep over his face. Maybe the rumors of him flunking are making me see things, but. There's a deepness in his eye, his eyes, or eye singular, that can't be found in a high schooler. <laughs> That's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> if, there's, if, if no one's left to hurt you, then, wow, it means no one will pick a fight with you in the first place. As soon as I blurted that out, I could see a flicker of warmth in his gaze. Because gaze... <laughs> Not sincere, not a sincere, caring type of warmth, but more like a pity for a critter caught in a trap. <laughs> Stop talking and just go. I love this, though. Was that the correct answer? I'll never know. They're getting more vague. Uh, okay, okay, well, bye. It didn't feel like a threat, but it definitely sent shivers down my spine. I hightailed it out of there after that brief goodbye. Hmm. Bye. Oh, look at that. There is a warmth. Oh. Hoo, 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 hoo. I'm Luna.
out of the moon. When I came home, I immediately fell asleep, absolutely exhausted from talking to so many people, but somehow that exhaustion felt good. That night, my dreams were filled with chocolate soldiers flying around on letters, dancing. <laughs> I love that day, too. <laughs> Morning already. Let's have a sweet day today. Since I had received that anonymous confession in chocolate yesterday, I came to school with a completely different mindset. What can I say? Somehow even a boring, peaceful day now felt exciting. I no longer felt strange about watching the other students get excited about possible confessions from secret admirers. I even started to think that, I, that liking someone for their charms and cherishing them from afar was actually a very beautiful thing. Now that it happened to me... If only I realized that sooner, perhaps I wouldn't have been so bored at school. Ah, oh, good morning, Huntington. Isn't a day just absolutely beautiful? Good morning, Herbert Bacora. Oh, you have some sweat on your forehead. Come closer. I'll wipe that off for you. I got into character too much there. It's gross. I just, I thought of what would be the grossest thing, and then it, it occurred to me what was happening. That was perfect, though. I, I regret nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Plants like water, after all. <laughs> the after-school club promotion week starts today. Say so I was preparing stuff for that morning. The gardening club is planning to show off some useful gardening tips. Huntington, you haven't joined a club yet, right? <gasps> oh, no, he is sorry. He's this every time. Every time he's the, he's more of the Sayori. Oh no, he wants me to join the literature club. <laughs> That's right. I couldn't really figure out which one to pick. And this upcoming weekend is the perfect chance to find out. Have a good look around. I'm sure there'll be a perf the, the, I'm sure there will be a club perfect for you, Handington. If you don't mind, would you like to check out the gardening club as well? Oh, my gosh. Oh, what should we do? All right, well, yeah, I guess, of course. All right. Then I'll see you later, Handington. I wonder if... No, I, I don't know. I don't know how the, the thing is going to work. I wonder if we keep saying no until we choose a club we want to go to, um, or if we actually just go through all the different clubs and then we'll choose something. Oh, my gosh. Come to think about it, I'd forgotten all about the club promotion this week. Uh, oh, on, uh, the, I forgot about the club promotion week. Honestly, I never signed up for a club because making new friends was so tiring. I'd rather go home and play video games like Cookie Run Kingdom. But now I felt a new urge to actively make friends. This whole club experience thing might be a good opportunity for me. So where should I start? Oh, okay, now I get choices. Should I try going to the garden wonder where the most popular club is. I wonder, I'll go around and have a look first. I prefer solitude. Ooh, I wonder what each of these are going to be. Let me check the log. So where should I start? Okay. Minimize. Maximize. Minimize. Windowed mode. This is maximized. Oh, this is so good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Do I want to go to the garden? The garden would end up definitely doing Herbert. Hmm. I'll, have, I'll have a look around first. That seems like a pretty neutral option. I'll go around and have a look first. I decided to take a stroll around the school to see what sort of clubs might suit me, but... Oh, all right. Hello, everybody. My name's Marcus. It seems that no one in the varsity basketball team can block my shots. Oh, a rose, such a worthy flower of my radiance. It's for me, you say. Thank you. President Madeline, we're holding an open poetry session in our book club. Will you join us? Reading club fans. Oh my gosh. I wonder, I wonder if they deliberately didn't say literature club fans for this reading, for, for, for this, 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 <laughs> for this exact reason. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, literature clubs are a thing outside of Doki Doki Literature Club, obviously. But still, 
Uh, this is no, I. It's, it's either it only exists in literature club, only that game, and it always means what you think it means, guaranteed. A poetry reading, marvelous! I shall make sure to be there. This is perfect. Yes, <laughs> squeal. <coughs> really, really, thanks so much. I swear, his hair is so bright that the color is almost burned into my retinas. I rub my eyes to get a hold of my bearings. I'm not hallucinating, am I? I swear that it seems like Markiplier is part of every club imaginable. Ha <laughs> ha! My genius and my Markiplierness and expertise are unparalleled. Be ashamed to wear such brilliance on a single club. <laughs> oh no, I was speaking out loud, or thinking out loud. <laughs> I quickly turned to Madeline Cookie, hoping that he won't hear my hear me narrating my thoughts. No wonder I haven't gotten a confession till now. Eep! You heard that? Well, it's true. What about your student council duties? Uh, I, um, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, well, it's true. What about your council duties? Yeah, what about your council duties? Um, uh, do you even have time for student council duties? Oh, of course I do. Behind Marcus, I could suddenly make out the vice president shaking their head. Oh, that's funny. The vice president is just like, no. <laughs> he doesn't actually do his duties because he's doing everything else. That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. Oh, have you known the utmost dutiful of my role as a student and as the council's president? Ahem, ahem. Speaking of students, tell me, Handington, which club are you in? Oh, I haven't joined a literature club yet, but I'm still looking. Splendid. You have a type whose heart yearns for the perfect match. Perhaps the vice president can help you with the perfect club you seek. Do come and visit the student council office sometime. The vice president welcomes such impromptu visits. And just like that, he left. The vice president gave me a silent nod and followed suit. That's good. I suddenly realized I was surrounded by Marcus's fan club. They remained silent, but their eyes practically screamed, Don't you dare join our club or else Marcus will never come visit. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out better than I expected. I still got time to explore. Where to now? I prefer... So, oh, okay. I guess I go through all of the choices. I prefer solitude. School clubs, come to think of it, I really don't want to join any. Making new friends always ends in sadness anyway. I prefer being alone. I kept walking through the empty halls until I found myself walking towards the back of the school, towards the dumpsters. Well, why did I? Come to think of it, this place is really quite tranquil. Almost. Except for the garbage. But it's only quiet because, well, this part of the school belongs to him. The one who flunks every year. The son of some shady, scary corporate boss. The student whose name instills fear in the hearts of all students. Derek DeChaco. You again. Derek was sitting on the stairs, a crushed lollipop in his hand. From his expression, it seemed like he didn't want to be disturbed. Didn't tell me how old you are. Let, let's let's figure it out. Yeah? Derek spat out a crunched lollipop onto the ground. I flinched a few steps back, only to bump into the punks from yesterday. Seemed like they belonged to Derek's posse now. He just recruited them. Hey, you there. Got some cash. This is all I have. I was going to buy a new workbook. Well, well, thanks for sharing, kid. Now run along and go play nicely somewhere else. Right. Hmm. Derek DeChaco. I gave Der Derek a desperate look, but he acted like he didn't know me as he leaned against the wall. Oh no, I chose the wrong thing. But, but I thought, I thought we had something. Seriously, faith in humanity shattered. Bad ending? What? <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> you could change the select answer. Do you want to... <laughs> Would you like to use Blossoming Hearts and change the answer? I hope that unlo I hope that keeps the unlocked answer. Yeah, I guess we, can we might as well. 
Oh my gosh, so asking him his age at that point, I got bad ending. I was not expecting that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I kept walking through the empty halls until I found, oh, yeah, yada, yada, yada. What, why did I kind of think of this? You again. Okay, might as well stay for a bit. There we go. The school clubs are on the hunt for new members to reel in. None of them seem worth, none of them seem worth joining. <laughs> hmm. Is that curiosity in his gaze? Or is it something I said? I'm more used to that nonchalant, uncaring gazes from other students, but there's something childlike about these eyes. I love that. I, I got a bad ending already. <laughs> I, I don't feel like making friends. Getting close to someone, that special someone, turns out to be a lie and I end up getting hurt is all. Derek crunched his lollipop and let out a long sigh. His response, though, was different this time. Soft. Almost like a whisper upon the breeze. I know how you feel. Huh? Pardon? School clubs. <laughs> I used to be in fencing. My father was good with a sword, too. He... Well, he used to be proud of me. I always won the sparring matches against the senior class. And I didn't like losing to, an un <laughs> to the unfriendliest freshman. I became the fencing club's main target. A stain on their reputation. They surrounded me. I was outnumbered. I didn't stand a chance. Oh. Someone from the judo club asked me to join. The same thing happened again. But, so you, you just stood there. You didn't fight back. I, I don't know why my voice is slowly devolving into Ginger Brave's voice. <laughs> back then, no. I used to think the club members were like family. I was naive. Foolish. Those bullies, how dare they? I noticed my fists were clenched, shaking with anger, but Derek just let out a soft chuckle and smiled. <laughs> Was that a laugh? Did you just laugh? You just laughed! Just then I recognized the voices of the bullies getting closer and closer. Derek's faint smile vanished as he waved his hand as if he were chasing away a fly. It's time for you to leave. I'm busy. Uh, okay, Derek. Be seeing you. Uh, don't get hurt or anything. Mwah. Blow a kiss. <laughs> Just as he walked past me, I swear I noticed a silent and subtle nod. Oh, getting steamy. <laughs> oh, wow. It's already this late. Maybe I can squeeze in time to visit one other place. Uh, let's see. Should I go to the garden? I wonder what the most popular club is. I should ask someone. Uh, that... Th I should ask someone wasn't a choice before, so I'm going to do that. I should ask everyone else what clubs they joined. Hey, I wanted to ask you. Eek! Love's sick classmate again. Oh, is it about clubs? Are you interested in joining the astronomy club? So am I. Oh my gosh. The astronomy club. The love's sick classmate is... Uh, yep, it's Moonlight. <laughs> it's Moonlight Cookie. Yep, because <laughs> she's in the astronomy club. <laughs> The friend that looked at me with sparkling eyes was the same friend who dragged me off to help and confess to Serena. No, just forget it. Ah. Once again, I was dragged off somewhere, this time to the astronomy club. Oh my gosh, it's on the roof. Look at how pretty that is. The astronomy club was small but well organized. The club room was decorated with endless astronomy-related items, like a model of the solar system, various telescopes, and posters of the planets. I love how it's a, it's a romance novel, so they're able to just go to the school after dark and just be on top of the roof. We played around with various equipment while waiting for someone to show up, but in the end it was just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Oh, don't tell me that the lovesick, the lovesick cookie is going to leave to go to the bathroom again. Psh, rumor has it, psh, rumor has it, psh, rumor has it, psh, rumor has it. That was a song. But the club has closed down. I guess it's actually true. Oh, no. That's sad. Disappointed, my classmate left the room. What should I do? Oh, so you were you were sitting out there for a long time. It's like, well, guess they're they're not here anymore. Bye. The leaves. I'll go home. I'll wait around a bit longer. I want all the bad endings too, but I guess I'll wait around a bit longer. I came all this way, waiting for some, wait, waiting some more wouldn't hurt. 
It's hard to say how long passed after that, but once again, I soon felt a presence behind me. As I turned to look, I saw Serena leaning against the door frame, and she stared at me. Oh, she's been there the whole time. Ah, uh, Serena Fairy. <laughs> Hello. Ah, you're that student I met previously. I just keep stealing this other student's romance. No. Thank you for showing an interest in the astronomy club. I thought I'd always be the only member. Aww. Oh, really? That won't do. I mean, astronomy is so interesting. The club closing would mean losing the space and all the equipment, too. So I thought about what to do, but I am simply too shy. Oh, well, that's okay. I came after all. Hmm. Serena smiled softly at my words. Her smile was so lovely and beautiful. You must have been waiting since I came late. I came just in time to see the moon rise, you see. Yes, I love astronomy, but I like the moon more than anything else in the sky. The mortal moon hath her eclipse endured. As I watched Serena mumble to herself, like a mad, like a mad fairy, I couldn't help but think about how cute she was once again. Ah! <laughs> Well, the burner hasn't gone off for a long time. <laughs> that was perfectly awful timing. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't do this for, for the whole time, so we might finish Serena's anyway. Here, maybe this is a bit quieter. We'll go over here and then, uh, what should we call it? I'll, I'll, I'll start wrapping up for later. Then, Serena showed me how to use the telescope to see the stars better. Serena, how come you like the moon so much? I wonder as well. When I look up at the moon, well, it's as if all of my... It's as if it soothes all my pain and sorrow away. I'm Luna, I'm the moon. So I want to be closer to it, but also feel pain that it is impossible. And that makes me think, is the moon actually soothing me, or is it making me suffer? Serena went silent again, as if lost in deep thoughts. After staying by here for a moment, I said goodbye and left the astronomy club. <laughs> Dork. You should, you should have, like, stayed a little longer, I guess. Everyone I met in the club seemed so different from the usual selves in the classroom. Yeah, they're able to be, they're able to be more of themselves. It made me realize that I had learned something new. People really shine when they're doing what they love. Sometimes it makes you see that person in a new light. Wonder if I have such a side to me as well. Huh. What is it that I'm actually passionate about? Before I could come up with an answer, I fell asleep with a content smile on my face. Day three. I think this is probably a good time to pause. Oh, do you have everything with you? Don't forget to bring your other bag you prepared last night. Saw a dining table. Oh, that's a that's, uh, uh, guardian unit. Uh, that's right. I almost forgot. I'm off to school. There we go. Phew, thank goodness. I can't believe I almost forgot to bring all those baking ingredients I prepared. Oh no, it's Natsuki time. <laughs> oh no, I have to go a little further. <laughs> if I'd forgotten, I'd have nothing to do all day. And why do I need baking ingredients today? To make cupcakes for the literature club. <laughs> I was Natsuki all along, because Kingdom High's famous lovey-dovey sweetie cutie dessert day. <laughs> this event was, oh, this event was invented by none other than the passionate student council president Monica. <laughs> and it's the day when all students bake something or make chocolate. The event expresses President Monica's old-fashioned beliefs that you should always be able to express your feelings with sweets. This year, I feel different about dessert day because... It's a chance to roam the other classrooms. It's my only choice. <gasps> chance to roam the other classrooms. I wonder if I would have gotten another choice if I did a different thing. Interesting. Sort of like when we got that extra choice the other time. I want to show my feelings for Serena. Where's all that noise coming from? Is Derek any good at cooking? Oh, okay. Okay, so this is where all of the stuff comes to a head. All of the correct choices that I make, I guess, add up to... Um... So, okay, so the ones that I chose, so I get introduced to everybody, then the ones that I chose initially 
get added to this list and I get to choose the different things. Okay, so in this route, I have Serena, Madeline, and Derek. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go with Serena. Because I have someone I want to confess my feelings to. As I closed my eyes, I thought about that one person who hadn't left my head for days. I can't exactly say I'm a skilled chef, but... This should be alright. I'm sure they'll love it no matter what. Paying attention in class had paid off because my vanilla cookies turned out airy and sweet. I wrapped up the cookies carefully and headed towards the senior classrooms. I had been dragged there by my classmates so many times that it was easy to find. Sorry, my friend. Wish me luck. I'm snubbing that friend, but deliberately this time. <laughs> I talked to myself as I made my way to Serena's classroom, sneaking in carefully. Usually it would have been hard to sneak in unnoticed, but everyone was too preoccupied with the baking class to notice me. You are. Eek. Was she not taking part in the baking class? Serena gave me a vacant stare, simply standing in front of her table with a mixing bowl. Yeah, it's me, the student who passed that letter on to you before. It's, uh, Serena, I have something I want to give you. Here. I took my hand from behind my back and reached forward, uh, reached towards Serena, but it seemed like she had no interest in what I had to give her. I could barely tell if she was even really looking at me. Full moon. <laughs> huh? This dough looks like a full moon, doesn't it? Uh, disaster after disaster. It seemed like Serena had been reminded of the moon when looking at the dough in her bowl. Serena, you should focus on baking. Want to make moon cookies? Yes. <laughs> should we make some moon cookies together? If you leave the dough like that... Oh, wait. Did... Was, there... Was there a skip? Okay, no, no, no. We're good. If you leave the dough like that, it'll go bad. Let's make some pancakes instead. Just as round as the full moon. Oh my gosh, she, Ser, okay, Serena marries Moonlight, and then they get a pet, and the pet is the bunny, it's, it's, it's the mochi bunny, yes, that is headcanon now, that's their pet. <laughs> oh, we can do that? Serena must have been really hopeless at cooking, she looked clumsy even just adding butter or pouring oil. Outside of astronomy, she's like a fish out of water. Oh my gosh, because she's the water, that's so cute, I love that. <laughs> What do we put in now? Put a spoonful of butter? Put a plenty of salt and pepper? No. A spoonful of butter helps the cookies go down. If you add this, the pancakes will be more fluffy. I bet that's that's a bad ending there if you choose the other thing. I, I'm very tempted to choose it, but I, I don't know. If you add this, the pancakes will be more fluffy. I helped Serena finish her pancakes by teaching her my own recipe little by little. It was hard to keep her focused as she would often drift off as thinking of the full moon and stars again, but we managed to make some tasty pancakes in the end. Thank you, my kind baking teacher. Aww. She smiled softly after. We spoke for a while as we shared some pancakes. I was so absorbed in our conversation that I completely forgot about the cookies I'd brought for her and left without giving them to her. Sigh. There'll be another chance, right? Even if they're a little stale. Aw, day four, it's raining, no. Weather report. The rain from this morning will continue throughout the day and into central region. They're expecting a dark gray day due to the heavy cover of clouds. Maybe it was because of the gloomy weather, but it seemed like a damper had been put on the whole lovey-dovey atmosphere at school. Just like the weather, love cannot always be sunshine. True love will bloom in every cloud, even in cloudy weather, don't you think? What's with all the weather? It's super gloomy. Days like this call for ghost stories. Let's gather after class and scare... <laughs> Let's tell a scary story at the literature club. Is everyone ready? Let's take our scary stories one by one. Should I start? The piano in the student council room. Screams around the dumpster. The cries from the rooftop. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So these are our choices. We have we have each of these as the uh, the romantic pursuit pursuits. Okay. <laughs> I love this though. It, I guess each each time we do it, it gives us like three of the students that we can end up choosing from each time. So I guess we'll do the rooftop because we're going to pursue Serena. Uh, that's right. Have you guys heard that story? There was a girl 
who died from falling off the roof, the, the school rooftop. <laughs> I love this game. I know, I know. It was the girl who always came in second. Oh, came in second in grades, right? She killed the top student so she could be number one. I love that this is the dark story now. This is good. I love that they did this. This is this, this game is perfect. <laughs> she killed the top student. Oh my gosh. It's a true story. They say you can sometimes see blue hair in the wind from the rooftop classroom. Oh no. Some students even said they could hear someone crying. The ghost story I'd prepared was just loosely based off things I'd read online. Turned out there was, there was a similar story circulating at our school. Oh no. But wait a second. Flowy blue hair on a rooftop? Surely it wasn't. Oh, dun dun dun. Are you sure it's not just a student who had long hair? Like a senior who spends all their time on the rooftop, for example? I might be there right now. Let's go check. I guess there really is power in numbers. But what were we going to do if an actual ghost showed up? Uh, follow your friends or lead your friends? Let's do the lead. Hey, everyone. Follow me. I'll reveal the truth of this ghost story. Oh, no. No, I should have followed the friends. No. No. Now Serena's going to think that we we did a setup. No. Oh, no. Oh, if we get a bad ending, I still have enough hearts for another one. Excited for the adventure, I led my friends to the rooftop. They'd definitely be surprised to see who the real protagonist of the ghost story was, right? Rat locked door. Rattle, 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 rattle. <laughs> Forget this. <laughs> then again, it is raining, so why would you go up to the roof anyway? The door to the rooftop was locked. Too bad. Bad ending? Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, locked up heart ending. Okay, so I am unlocking each of these. Yeah, change answer. Ghost story. Yada, 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 yada. Okay. Uh, follow your friends carefully. We worried about what my friends would do if they discovered it was Serena on the rooftop. I simply followed them quietly. Okay, good. I'm glad that the, the thing was locked so you couldn't actually mess up with Serena and everyone just walks away. Okay. But in here, we don't know that it's unlocked, so you're doing this to defend Serena. Well, I hoped that no one would disturb her while she was simply watching the moon all alone. I thought I should follow, up my, follow my friends because of what they told me earlier. What if Serena's actually up there crying on her own? Oh no, because she, she looks up at the stars and cries. Rattle. Oh no, we can, Oh, this time we actually can go up there. Is this a rooftop? There's nothing here, though. Guess we scared the ghost away. Oh wait, no. I guess we scared the ghost away. Huh, that's rich coming from someone who's trembling for fear just moments ago. My friend's chatter continued as they made their way down the stairs again. Of course, I knew exactly where to find the blue-haired girl. I climbed the ladder on the rooftop to the place best suited for moon-watching and called out Serena's name. <laughs> Serena! Serena, are you here? Serena peeked out from above. Oh, so I guess she's on top of one of the things. Her eyes widened before she smiled at the sight of me. You startled me. You always show up right when I need you. Aw, that's sweet. Can I go up? Please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As I made my way up, Serena patted her knee as if beckoning a cat to her. Her nonchalant attitude startled me, but before I knew it, I rested my head on her knee as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Oh, that's sweet. There's a little star. I think there's, yeah, there's a shooting star, and the little the little stars move around. Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. We, we, have, we have graduated to become cat on her lap. Come here. I, I come here quite often, you see. <laughs> so, come here often. <laughs> when you're happy, when you're sad. Watching the moon from here helps you forget all your worldly concerns and calms you down. Then, can I ask, do you cry sometimes too? Serena didn't answer me, even though I felt like I knew the answer. The human world is so complicated. Sometimes I have a hard time keeping up with it. Oh yeah, the cookies are playing a game about humans. <laughs> I mean, humans, I, I guess they do exist in the world because the witch and everything like that, but still, I love this. <laughs> that's right we're playing a game about the human world our human world we're playing a game about cookies and in their cookie world they're playing a game about humans that's so great I love that and it's so lonesome too I want to become stronger 
like Luna, like the moon, beautiful in her solitude. I think I understand how you feel. We stayed like that, holding hands and comforting each other for long enough to feel the stars traveling the sky above us, which one needed to express our feelings. That's so sweet. Aw, there's the moon. Can't believe that story was about a student I know so well. I really felt feel like I've stumbled upon something big here. I guess she killed someone. <laughs> this is Ducky Ducky Literature Club. <laughs> Everyone's bound to ask about the secret of the story when I come to school tomorrow. What do I do? I need to come up with another story as a cover-up. I can't tell anyone about what happened today. After all, it's a secret between us that, I sh that should be kept that way. As I swore I would keep the secret, I slowly drifted off to sleep. Am I going to make this a really huge episode? <laughs> Day five. Hold on. Okay, back. Uh, I, I missed one of the... I clicked on the screen accidentally. Huh, why do I feel so strange? I'm so drowsy I can't keep my eyes open. Could it be, be, could it be because of what happened yesterday? Or perhaps it's because I was up all night tossing and turning while I thought of yesterday. May I be excused to go to the nurse's office? What's the nurse's office looking at? Came to the nurse's office, but the two beds were already full. From the left bed, I could hear the sound of someone tossing and turning, and the right bed seemed to have blood stains on it. That's right! Oh my gosh! <laughs> This is, it's not strawberry jam, it's actually blood this time. <laughs> this is good, I like this. The, uh, open the ocean-colored curtain. Yeah, obviously. Uh, write down all of the symptoms or open the shadowy curtain. Interesting. All right, no, we gotta do... Oh, no! <gasps> Derek, Derek DeChaco was hurt. Oh, no! And I guess if we write down the symptoms, we get Madeline. Uh, or, or the third option, open the... the the ocean-colored one. Yeah, we're, we're pursuing Serena this time. I went to the bed where someone seemed to be tossing and turning and carefully peeked behind the curtain. Eek! Inside, Serena was lying on the bed with her flowy hair spread across the pillhead. She stared up at me, one hand holding the edge of the curtain as if she'd been about to pull the curtain. Why are you here? I was sleepy. Are you her classmate? Please wake her up and take her with you and stop slacking off in here. Uh, it all makes sense. She She's always up late looking at the moon, so she must have come here to rest. Yes, I'll take my leave. Serena got up and approached me unsteadily, leaning on me. I smiled sheepishly and made sure to support her as I led her back to the now familiar senior classrooms. That's sweet. Oh my gosh, it's the outside of the school again. Ever since I received those chocolates from the unknown sender, my school life has changed. I made a lot of new friends and learned more about those friends. <laughs> I also met someone who gave me butterflies. Aww. Maybe this is just a fleeting feeling, but I don't think I want to let this season of blossoms go. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to confess my feelings today. Fine. Oh my gosh, we can just choose anyone. I bet we'll get a bad ending if we choose somebody else who we, who we didn't romance. Uh, well, we have to finish out with Serena. Serena Fay. wonder if she knows. Is she aware that I have been chasing even the faintest traces of her shadow ever since we met? Ew, creep. <laughs> Today's the day. I'll finally confess my feelings. While I didn't have a specific arrangement to meet up with Serena, I knew where to go to find her. I couldn't stop thinking about this place where we'd watch the moon together as I rested my head on her lap, nor her beautiful voice. Serena was famous at Kingdom High for her stunning beauty, but I strangely felt that her voice, full of longing, was even more beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> she's, <coughs> she's doing her, her pose, she's doing the sea fairy pose. Sorry, it's going on again. Into the other room, where it's quieter. As expected, Serena was to be found at the same place today as well. I knew I'd find you here. You're all... You, you're really always looking up at the moon. Serena turned to smile at me, but, star, but startled, start, startled soon after. Do you think I'm boring for always looking at the moon? Or weird even? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at the hearts! <laughs> 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 
Serena. You should always look up at the moon you love so much. After all, it'll be right here always looking at you, too. Serena looked at me with teary eyes. Cheery blossom petals fluttered beautifully through the wind, along with her long blue locks. I kind of knew that our relationship could never be a conventional one, but no person could be more precious to Serena than the moon anyway. But that was enough for me. I want to remain as the person who understood Serena fully until the end of time. That's sweet. They have an unconventional relationship because her heart is for the moon. Aw, oh, that's sweet. That's nice. They're just, they're, they're, they're sort of like, they're, they're sort of like close, yeah, they're, they're, they're close friends. Like slightly, slightly above just platonic, but, because they, they enjoy each other's company, but not, not, not in the, not in any, any more of a way. That's sweet. I like that though. It's, it's rare to find uh, relationships like that because it's always, it always ends up just being romantic or like completely romantic. And you can end up just having it be nice like this too. That's sweet. Happy ending! Yay! Oh my gosh. Serena Fey ending open now. <laughs> oh, that is so good. It's the album. Looking at you, these stories are not saved in the Tower of Records. The name you, um, the name you selected will appear in the story. These stories are not saved in the Tower of Records. Oh no! Uh-oh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> So the only way you're going to see these are, are recording them. <laughs> uh, all right, this is good. All right, looking at you. He's looking at you, kid. Oh, okay. So we we get to we get to go back to these endings and re rewatch them. Skip. There we go. Happy ending. That's nice. Okay. This is good. Um, all right. So that, those are the the happy endings for each of the the students. Memories. We don't have any. Oh no, we, we have a memory. Rooftop serenade. Oh, nice. Okay, so we get to have the memory with her. Okay, so there's six for for each of those other ones, and then the bad endings. All right, let's see. Locked up heart. Oh, we get the pearls because it was Sea Fairy's thing. Disappointment. He he brawls. So we get the we get the arena tickets. I love how they all they all correlate to the characters. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I I love this. Uh, oh, and gifts! Uh, Serena Faye is available for gifts! <gasps> Serena Faye, give gift! <gasps> oh, look at that! Oh, because we romanced her, so now we get the we get the ending. Uh, what did she... I, I didn't read what she said. Give gift. Could you help me dream well? Aww. We get to increase affection, and then we unlock Romance Kingdom Serena Faye! Oh my gosh. Someone who understands. That's so sweet. Um... Let's see, I'll gift you burger. Uh, oh, I can gift hearts. Would you like to gift the selected good? Please note that you can earn trade points and affection points. Let's see, five, uh, Let's give two hearts. This is good. Okay, I can I can give the hearts uh, as well. Let's see, give, give you milk. Give one gift of milk. Affection is only 40. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no wonder this, this event lasts for 40, 40, 48 days. This is going to take a while. Um, but I appreciate this, so once once we finish, like, all of the stories, we can actually give the hearts to the characters, at least. Um, that's good. That's good. Uh, three hearts. I have five hearts. That's six. Here. I will give five hearts. I can feel the kindness in your heart. Aww. Alright, that's good. Cool. So I can, I can also give the items. How much does this give? Oh, yeah, that gives a bunch. Yay! Special cookie cutter. Alright. I won't, I won't use up all of them just just yet, but this is good. I will wait to do another storyline for, for when I have more time to go through the whole thing. But for now, take care, friends. And this is Handington signing off. I hope you enjoyed Doki Doki Literature Kingdom. Bye.